Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make glass noodle salad or yam bun sen. Time coming. That's why I shoot this recipe today. It's a glass noodle salad, colorful with all vegetable and all delicious the uh, ingredient. First, this is a glass noodle or mang make from mung bean. We gonna soak into the water, make this soft uh, before we using. Okay, and also, okay, I will show you the packet that I use. They might call was a. Uh, Vermicelli noodle, but they make from mung bean and the color clear. So uh, you have to look for it. They're all different. Sometimes you have to really be careful. Okay. And now I'm gonna let the noodle soak for 15 minutes, so the our grass noodle come out soft and clear. Now we we'll wait for our noodle to soak into the water. We have time to prepare our vegetable. So today I will use a white onion. I will use a half white onion. So I'm just gonna cut it half. Okay, and for the onion, I just gonna cut into the uh, thick slice about this side. I use half onion. Okay, half onion. I'm gonna set it on the side. Okay, and next, I have it already uh, celery that I already been cut them. I use the top and bottom, even the leaf, and I cut them about this side. Okay, and next, I have um, cherry tomato. This is from my backyard. They look so beautiful. I have a lot in my backyard. For the cherry tomato, I'm gonna cut them to half to open up all the flavor. I love the cherry tomato. They're really sweet. Sometimes I eat them fresh, but um, they're good for the salad also. And I use about I use them six ounce for the cherry tomato. Okay, now my tomato done. Set it on the side also. And next, I gonna cut the oh, I gonna cut the cilantro. Okay, I have a one handful cilantro, and I gonna chop them up. Okay, and now our cilantro done. Okay, so that on the side also. Okay. Okay, and next we still have some vegetable, but uh, for the salad dressing. Okay, and I'm gonna start with the squid or the lamb. Okay, for lamb, I will squid it all because I have to use a six tablespoon. Okay, and now I think I have about six tablespoon or more in here now. So the lamb is done, and now I'm gonna move to the next vegetable for our dressing. Next, cilantro stem. I will use two tablespoon, and I will thinly slice them because this will go inside the our salad dressing. So I'm gonna uh, chop them really small. I'm gonna put inside the mixing jar or the measuring cup. Next, Thai chili. I use 12 of them, but if this might be too spicy for you, please just um, cut it down. Or if you like spicy, you can use all semi. I use 12. Yes, this is 12 Thai chili. So, okay, put in the my measuring cup also. With the cilantro stem. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix uh, everything together. I use six tablespoon lamb juice. Four, five, and six. Okay, and next I'm gonna use the fish sauce. And same the ratio for the salad dressing six. Six tablespoon lamb and six tablespoon of uh, fish sauce. But if you like more sour, you can put more lamb after. I 
okay and the last ingredient for our salad dressing it will be sugar i will use four teaspoon the white sugar oh one two three okay four and now we're gonna mix uh, our salad dressing until our sugar all is soft and taste if you like more salty or you like more sour just add your favorite profile okay and now all the sugar all is soft i'm gonna give this a quick taste let's see i will need something else a little bit more Almost, almost good, but I need, need a little more sweet, so I'm gonna add um, another teaspoon the sugar. And I'm gonna add the uh, one more tablespoon lamb juice, because for me, I like the little bit sour. So, okay, so just taste your salad dressing and how you like your, and mix again. Okay, and we, we're ready to the next step. Next, we're gonna start cooking our grass noodle that we've been soaking for 15 minutes. Okay, to into the boiling water. Ooh, put it all together. Okay, I use 3.80 ounce for the grass noodle. All right, and not walk away from it because they cook really, really fast. So just gonna mix them a little bit. Okay, just about one minute. Our glass noodle start changing the color to be clear, like this one. Okay, now we can. I gonna remove and put on the in the bowl. Okay, if you like to do, do, do if you like to do do to be shorter, just use the scissor to cut. But I like to eat just like this, so this would be good for me. Okay, okay, and same pan and same water. I gonna next I gonna cook our cow turkey. I use the eight ounce cow turkey. You can use cow chicken or cow pork. Okay. Okay. Okay, and when I cook the cow turkey, I like to add a little bit of salt. Just for giving extra flavor to the meat. Okay. Okay, and now when our water coming really boil again, and the color of the water is changed, that means the our meat is cooked. So when I try to stir and bake the pieces for the meat, so I want a small little pieces for our salad. Okay, now I'm gonna remove our turkey. Okay, turn the volume down a little bit. I mean, turn it up. <laughs> They turn it up. Okay, and I'm gonna put on top our uh, noodle. Okay, and now I remove all my um, turkey, cow turkey, and the same water, same pan. Okay, and I I turn on, I turn back my stove. Next, I'm gonna add the shrimp. I use large shrimp, twelve shrimp total. Okay, this um, broth from the turkey will make extra flavor to our shrimp also. Okay, and shrimp cook very fast, so I have to be hurry. Okay, I'm gonna keep this a mix a little bit. When the water come to the boil again, our shrimp will be done. Okay, it take you about 30 to 40 seconds, and your shrimp is done. Now we're gonna turn off the stove. You never like to overcook shrimp because I, we're gonna have to add add the salad dressing so it have lamb and the acid will cook the shrimp more so you don't want to overcook them now okay oh look at how big the shrimp they look so good okay and now time to mix all everything together i'm gonna start with our cilantro okay our cilantro go in our cherry tomato go in okay and some onion okay wow i hope this not gonna be too small bowl for me <laughs> and our serrari all right yep little small but i will try my best okay 
And now the really, really important, our salad dressing. Okay, put them all on top. Wow, this will be really, really tasty. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix everything together. Okay, use bigger bowl than me, okay, dude? <laughs> I use a wet, I use a little too small for the bowl. Oh, I dropped a trim. Yes, I use too small bowl because I think this is a look pretty on the camera, but they're too little small. So I'm gonna remove to put inside this bowl instead. It will be a lot easier for me to mix. Oh, a little messy. That's okay, it's all gonna work. Okay. Yep, it will be easy for me. Okay. Sorry, a little messy, but this will be work. Try to mix everything well together because all the noodle and the sa um and the salad dressing have to mix well to suck all the flavor. Okay, okay, and now we're done mixing our uh, glass noodle salad. Okay, look at how nice and all the noodles soak all the salad dressing. Okay, and now we ready to paint. So for the side, I have the lettuce, cucumber, and cilantro, okay, for decorate, right? And an easy way to paint the, the gut noodle salad to use the tongue, okay? Put the noodle on the bottom, Ooh, what do you like for one serving? And then I'm gonna put some trim and some vegetable on top. I can't wait to try this. Okay, and now I need to try our grass noodle salad. Oh, look at all this trim. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it half for the trim. Okay, and dig it in. How can I get the noodle together? Okay, here. Very tender. <laughs> yes, this is refreshing and easy to make and so refreshing and this might be difficult when I try it but trust me the favorite really really good. If you want the full recipe please go to the spoonforkheart.com and then you find out the full recipe. If you like this video, if you like this recipe please give me a thumb up subscribe and thank you so much for watching and see you for the next recipe thank you